Lemon Amiga present. A play diet video review. Sit back and enjoy the show. To another Lemon Amiga play guide and review. This time we'll be checking out Take Em Out, developed by Psycon Software and published by Artronic Products in 1989. This game was developed by Jan Slot and Mikkel Nass, and I think this is their only game on the Amiga. And the graphics and all the music was created by Tommy Gard, who also worked on Soldier 2000 in 1990. Prepare to qualify. Get ready. In Take Em Out, we get to play as a budding green beret. And it's our job right at the beginning of the game to fire off some rounds in the pistol at the very start to get some score. And if you don't get enough score on this introductory round, unfortunately, you cannot progress. And I've no idea what that score is it doesn't give you any idea but of course you need to get over 10,000 to make it and if you don't you'll simply get booted out you have not qualified This is the Amiga 500 experience I'm playing at the moment and of course if you can get on the red targets you'll get more points than if you get the blue or the outer area, whatever it is, and of course getting the centre of the target really does matter when you're trying to get some score. You have not qualified. It then gives us, I think, infinite retries, but unless we want to switch off the game, we'll have to try it again and get better if we want to get anywhere with this game. Prepare to qualify. Get ready. helps if you have a mouse on the right DPI setting and I think 400 DPI mouse is great for playing this game you certainly don't want to be playing with the Amiga Ball tank mouse at this stage but if you have a modern mouse you can adjust all settings in the emulator and at the moment I'm still trying to get those targets and still trying to get that score get ready You have not qualified. Get ready. This definitely encouraged me to try harder at the game and try to memorize all of these targets and try to get better at target practice. And this is a crosshair pop up shooter, so we'll definitely need to get used to these mechanics. This is just the training level, this isn't supposed to be a full level of the game, but we will move on hopefully to a hostage situation if we can get this right. You have qualified. From there we get to pick our armaments and we have a gun, a shotgun, a rocket launcher and a grenade. 
And if we use that grenade, it will blow everything up on the screen, which really isn't helpful for a hostage situation. So let's go for the gun and the rifle. then transported to the streets of what could be America and we get a limited amount of ammunition if you press the left mouse button you'll get the rifle and if you press the right mouse button you'll get the shotgun If you run out of ammunition, we have infinite amounts of ammo, it's just that we'll have to duck down behind our trash can, and ducking behind a trash can is one of those things that gives this game some fun, and you might see Rambo as well popping out occasionally, and hostages that you can shoot at, and people flying down on kites. So this is a fun game at this stage, it's just that I've run out of health and it's easy to run out of health unless you've memorised the whole thing. So, well, let's try that again, let's speed that up and let's see if I can get any further with it. game gives us all those retries and again that trash can action is what gave this game some character and makes it feel like an Amiga game and you don't get too much of this homebrew Amiga game stuff on a PC. So I like this music as well, even though it sounds pretty basic, it's really up there to the job and there isn't much music in this game and the sound effects of course are hopefully sampled so we do get some action and we do get a variety of enemies and they always follow the exact same pattern every time so once you've memorised them like I did back in the day then hopefully the only hard part is to memorise where to use the shotgun and when to use the rifle. As you can see, I'm having no luck whatsoever memorising and remembering how to play this game after all these years, so guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch over to an Amiga 1200 version with the WHD install and a cheat on which gives me infinite health. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us infinite score, so we're still going to have to qualify for all these mini games in order to continue. Get ready. You might notice all of these targets appear just a bit quicker on an Amiga 1200 and I think the Amiga 1200 isn't very playable compared to the 500 experience but you can see things are a little bit smoother and I really love it if you qualify with a higher rank he says well done you have qualified. You have qualified. Or if you get a, just a low rank, he says, you have qualified. So let's select our armaments again. And now we have infinite ammo. Hopefully it should be possible to get rid of all these guys and to get off level one. And yes, the health pack does give us a bit of health back. If we shoot that, and the bottles just give us a bonus score. We can't shoot the ladies, otherwise they'll scream, and we can't shoot the police officers either, and you might notice that they wait to fire, so if you get the timing right, you should be able to destroy them whilst they're waiting to fire. With the 
cheat on, I've also got infinite time and infinite ammo, so that means that we don't have to reload, so that's the last of the trash can action that we're going to see in this review, but apart from that, this is a great game, you can see as long as you get the order right, then you do have enough health, it's just that it takes it away pretty rapidly if you get the order wrong. There's no one left moving because I've killed everybody, so according to that, let's move on to the next bit. Level 2 in the game, or perhaps even level 3, we get a skeet shooter, otherwise known as a clay pigeon shooter, and you can press either the left or the right mouse button to fire onto those targets. And I think we have infinite ammunition, or at least with this cheat on, so that means that we can have auto fire on this section. And definitely, if you don't get enough of these, then you can't progress. And I think you need to get at least 10 or 15 of them in order to qualify for the next level. If you don't, then you can continue and retry and retry and retry, but if you do, then you get to move on. We failed, so let's use the auto fire and let's finish off this level. And now let's switch off the auto fire and let's see if we can get any further with this. If you can get those things on target, it's great, and I think this reminds me of the Summer Games series and the game summer edition where we really did get something like this and even winter games which had some kind of skeet shooting thing going on we had to shoot things so this isn't bad and even though this screen looks pretty basic it does give that atmosphere and it pads out this game Carry on, it said. It's possible to get pretty darn good at that clay pigeon shoot. And let's try this because we've got infinite health. So this is what the next level would look like, level four, and what it may be. In this level, we get to move on to the Middle East. And that could be any of the Middle Eastern locations you can see with an oil pump in the background and several oil drums and that reminds me of, of course, Oil Imperium. So in this level you have to shoot everything and if you use something to blow up the entire screen, and it's great to see that guy falling out of the window, but I think if you use something to blow up the entire screen, sometimes maybe a hostage will get killed, so it's pretty essential, yet again, just have the rifle and the shotgun. You might notice some oil drums appearing, and they act as a smart bomb. It's best to leave them on the screen until it's packed, and that's how you use those. You won't lose any damage, but you will kill everything on that screen. I remember it took me a long time to memorise this level back in the day, and it was a tremendous feeling having memorised it and got through it, and then we get through to another skeet shooter with a clay pigeon, and with this infinite ammo, it should be possible to get through this first time. And now that we're a master of aiming this thing, hopefully, and maybe not, let's try to get at least 10, 
and enough to progress on to the third and final scenario of this game. Yes, it only takes 10 minutes to complete this, if you're any good with it, otherwise it will take quite some time to memorize. Moving on to those magazine scores, some of the magazines gave this a very low rating indeed because they said it was too easy and there was a lack of levels. All you get after you complete this level is basically game over and if you shoot the women their breasts fall out and that's another quirk of this game, one of the humorous aspects of it. If you kill a hostage it usually gives us some kind of comedy. Sea Omega gave this 43%, Omega Action awarded it 50%, Lemon Amiga gave it 58%, Data or Data Magazine gave this 70%, even Amiga Joker managed to give this 74, Joystick Magazine gave this 75, and the Games Machine gave this game the highest score, take them out at 80%. And of course, a lot of them said it was too easy if they completed it first time, and the rest of them pointed out that 1995 for this was a bit expensive. So most of them moaned about the price, and they said the game itself was okay and fairly good, but it should have been longer, and even at semi full price, it should have been more, and there should have been more to it. <laughs> Gives Take Em Out the average score of 6.5 out of 10. Take them out has got something for it, and definitely I played this in the day and spent quite some hours playing it. I only got as far as the second scenario, and I never managed to beat it without the cheat. And you can see at the end they even scrolled the names upon it. So, this is a very special Swedish game that I remember from back in the day. It's yet another one of those games that only I like, but I like it. So, that's my review of Take them Out. And once you get good at that game, it's very fun to complete it. Thank you.